Today, we're going to be watching and reacting to episode 35 of Black Clover, The Light of Judgment. Licht is pretty pissed off after last episode because Asa heard Veltos. And then him and Yami survived getting a whole goddamn cave dropped on them. So when you got two stubborn dudes who fight with swords at your battle, you know for a fact that it's going to take a lot more to put them down. It's going to be interesting to see how Licht reacts. And because it's called The Light of Judgment, I can only assume he's probably going to try to unleash all his power in order to stop them. So so let's jump into my reaction and then discussion for episode 35 of Black Clover. <laughs> ah, you can also sense key of natural objects, so you could avoid getting hit by rocks. Okay, okay. Key is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> if you did it, you die. Oh my god. You can tackle that scrawny line face, dude. Oh, I love Yami. He's so much fun. Oh shit, so I guess this is the episode where Yami really goes ham. Last episode, I was like, oh shit. Yami went pretty goddamn strong and holy shit. Oh, we're ready for it. We're ready for a fight this episode. Okay. You know what I'm just realizing too? Is that the intro to this show is always showing the first Wizard King fighting the giant demon. Using light magic. And now this dude also fighting with light magic. Coincidence? Probably not. Oh my god. Look at Yami's just getting tossed around while holding onto his sword. He's not even like phased by it. You just gonna go after Asta? Oh, never mind. Okay. Damn, got a light sword versus a dark sword. Oh shit. Dorsions. Some on the brink of death and starvation, but have then others have so much success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems like the typical royals. Some have great magic and discriminated against for reasons for birth. Okay, some are hurt and named justice because they were born in another country. Okay, really showing the discrimination in the Clover Kingdom. Oh. <laughs> Damn. You know, it's interesting how the world breaks around them into like cubes as they smash into it. It just adds like a second layer of stuff they can jump around and go off of while they're fighting, which is cool. Dude, the music just adds to the scene so much more too. Wasa, you can't doubt yourself now. You got this. Come on, you just need more swords. That's the answer. You just need to go collect them all. <laughs> Yama's gonna be like, why the hell aren't you helping me yet? <laughs> Look, I don't give guys jobs they can't do. I said this last episode where I was saying Yami believed in Asa and only was telling him stuff that he knew he could do. Otherwise, he wouldn't have gotten him to do it, which it's true. I don't have time to get depressed. That's right, Asa. You just gotta get in a fight. 
What if he just does a spinny spin? When Asa's got the speed too, he's already frequently fast and strong. I think he's got this. Oh, animation just changed. Damn. Look, guy, calm down and think. Use what Fuego only on taught you and what Yami has taught you and get ready to fight. Did he throw both swords? Yo, he's got something up his sleeve. Come on, are we gonna pull out another one somehow? He jumped through the spatial magic! <laughs> That's how you do it. Just dex him in the face. Don't even use the sword. Damn. Look, freakishly, freakishly strong and fast. He jumped through that portal. Oh. Do you let your guard down? <laughs> I like how every time Lix thinks he has the upper hand, Yami's like, yeah, not nah, not today. Black hole. Okay. Dun dun dun, what's gonna happen next? Ooh. Look, because light versus dark, dark absorbs light, which makes a lot of sense. Ooh, Yami, is Yami the secret weapon to taking down Lick? Because his dark magic would absorb the light magic. <laughs> Just lights up another smoke. <laughs> Yami, hurry up and heal, I'm not done yet. Ooh, second person? The first person's the Wizard King, right? Because he did get his arm messed up. Yeah, the Wizard King. I like how Yami's kind of offended that he's like the second person. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, the speed of light, right? This is what he used when he came after his group when Asta and the Wizard King were standing there. Yeah, like hell. Oh. <laughs> so calm and collectible. Asa's is like cheering him on. Just, yeah, it's not good. Retreat? I'll leave that up to the me in five seconds. <laughs> Look at Ghosh. He... He's upset that she's dying. Even though yelled at each other insults, he still can't see her die. He might have seemed like on the outside that he hate her, hated her, but maybe he truly didn't. No one cares about your thing you already, Finral. <laughs> you were lucky. It's kind of suspicious. Just a little. Take my magic? You're going to save them, aren't you? Oh shit. I like how she even noticed Ghost changed after meeting Asta. You can see the, the main character energy changing people around him. <laughs> she's not dead she's alive <laughs> oh that's funny oh now she's gonna help too
So can you just transfer your magic to people to help power them up? Is that that's what's going on here? I didn't know you could do that. I'm just here, have my magic. I mean, it's not all their magic, obviously. It's like, you know, giving them some energy. But still. Look, just protect who you want to protect. And someday they'll help somebody out. And it is what Yami called it. He might not seem the smartest, but he's pretty smart. <laughs> uh oh throwing in those stakes by only being able to use your magic one more time but also pointing out that Licht has like a force field around him because of the amount of mana going to him which i think is really interesting black cocoon yo he's just putting a freaking blackness around him which would just absorb the lightness and hope he's gonna kill us <laughs> Oh. <laughs> mm, Yami knows when there is uh, not defeat, but at least he can't do anything. And here we come. Backup has arrived. Rave divine punishment. Oh shit! Is just gonna put is Ghost just gonna put like a mirror in front of them and deflect it back? Full reflection? Oh, look at that. I was right. <laughs> Boom, because we know light reflects off mirrors and just shoots it right back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he just launched him. <laughs> at least it looks like he launched him. <laughs> Asta just shook. <laughs> mirrors reflect. I, ju I just said that. Look at that science. Lick just got knocked back with his own move. Nice. Never mind. He just he stayed there, but got taken down by his own move. Sally's put in some tank. It's pretty wounded. Okay. Are we meeting more people of this group that are probably pretty powerful? Yep. It definitely looks like it. Are these like the three leader leaders of the squads of this evil organization? And now it's over. Of course, you got to show in the next threat to get us ready. That was interesting. Yami's pretty freaking OP. I really like what they show, but they're also kind of setting up some other things here. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens next. And Ashley Penn commented a few weeks back, Ghost is actually the smartest person in the Black Bulls, which after that move definitely starts to lead into that because the dude comes in, knows that light is reflected by mirrors and boom, deflects it and then he took down licked well at least they took him down for a, a second he is recovering magic so I'm, I'm i'm doubting he's gonna be down for that long with that if you like my black clover reaction make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my anime reactions as well as more of the black clover ones of course and i also do marvel and dc stuff as well and with that let's jump into my discussion for this week's episode i think with the little talking in this episode they definitely set up a bunch of stuff with what's really going on with the eye of the midnight suns and licked because of the fact that he talks about the distortion going on in this country there are people who are starving to death but then there are also people who have just too much food to really do anything with it showing that there's the power scaling too also showing people are ranked by their power if you have little magic you're nothing you're just a peasant but if you have all this power you're royal you're strong you're more worthy of being up there showing that if you're from a different country you're discriminated on which yami did experience and showing some people with strong power are still discriminated against because of their birth. So showing that there's just a lot of ranking in this country where you're seen as strong and powerful, you're good to go, but if you're anything less, you're a peasant. The scaling just makes it so that everyone who's under a certain tier are treated like nothing, and they're trying to fix that. But at the same time, they're still hurting those exact people by attacking the country and threatening them and the, where they live, and they're not really being better they're doing pretty much the same thing and yami even points that out so i think it's really interesting because i definitely think after last episode i was saying that the clover kingdom probably took out licks people because they have all this power but they want they, they took them out so that they weren't going to be a threat and that these people who were being worshipped were now no more which i think they're leading into that to show why licked is the way he is and why his people were taken out so i'm really interested to seeing how that expands more showing the clover kingdom in more of a darker realm it doesn't look all nice and cheerful when you look at it seeing all these people happy there's actually a darker side going on behind the shadows the royals aren't so good after all which we already knew they weren't they're kind of pieces of shit half the time but this kind of shines a new light on what's really going on behind closed doors so i'm really interested in seeing how this kind of opens Atsa's eyes as well to what's really going on and seeing if it changes how he looks at the kingdom also the fight was awesome watching yami use his dark magic 
absorbing the light and just having some absolutely awesome visuals while fighting how also learned how to use his key a little bit by dropping his sword kind of sensing where the the spatial magic was going to open up and jumping through it just, just to punch veltos in the face i think that was a great moment during that scene i really like what they did there and i also just like how it cut back to ghost and everyone else healing and ghost upset that the sister is dying even though they were at each other's throats all the time and even her pointing out that ghost has now changed after his interaction with asta he's become a little bit different which is probably for the better also pointing out that yami said you can help whoever you want and eventually it's gonna help somebody out which in the end it did and then they shared their magic which i still don't really understand how that worked but maybe they're able to pass on mana to help them power up for a short amount of time like they're not actually giving them their magic but maybe just a small power boost which is why when he jumps in and uses the reflection he's able to just block the light and send it because light gets reflected by mirrors science 101 and i really like how they're using this and they have science-based stuff in here which is pretty cool i'm liking their explainer so far it's a lot of fun great episode with great visuals awesome fight with yami and i can't wait to see what comes next because there's still a few episodes left in in this arc which means some shit still gotta go down let me know what you thought about this episode and some of the stuff i said about what's really going on around the clover kingdom and with that i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll talk to you next week when we watch episode 36 of black clover